Hi, I'm Paul Bedancet, and today I'm going to show you how to calculate the price-related bias, or the PRB, in Excel. The PRB is one of several statistical tests used to measure vertical equity in our appraisals. It helps tell us whether or not our sales ratios are consistent or equitable across lower, middle, and higher price properties. This tutorial is only focused on how to calculate the PRB, but more information on the theory and the mathematics behind it can be found at the IAAO Paul V. Carusi Library website. We've also provided a data set that you may download. Um, it is the same one that we use in the video. This way you can work side by side with the video and ensure that you're completing each step properly. Calculating this in Excel, I'm going to have the uh, Fundamentals of Mass Appraisal book by the IAAO um, that, by my side here. And uh, if you have this, uh, it's on page 410 and 411, but um, it is not necessary, but it is a good supplementary um, uh, resource to have um, when with understanding the PRB and as well as calculating it. Um, it's available on the IAAO library website. You can check it out for free. The, oftentimes there is a waiting list for it, um, but you can also buy it from the IAAO marketplace. For this example, we have an Excel spreadsheet of um, sales that occurred in a town that we've made up. Uh, we can just call it Assessorville. And in Assessorville, the, uh, the sales that we used, there were 100 sales, um, and we have listed the sale prices in column B here uh, with the header SP. And in column A is the respective assessed value for each of these sales. Um, this is how you, know, you begin any uh, ratio study, looking at uh, the assessed value and how it compares to the actual sale prices. So for the first step in the PRB calculation, uh, we are going to create the assessment to sale price ratio, uh, which I will just be referring to as ratios throughout the rest of the uh, calculation. So in column C, we're going to start here by clicking uh, in cell 2, um, column C, and simply double click equals now it's assessment to sale price, so we got to remember to click the assessed value first divide it by the sale price, enter, and to populate this value for all of the sales, um, you do not have to type it in, you simply have to go to the bottom right corner of this cell, and you see this little, this little square right here, we're going to double click, and we see that it populates the ratio um, for each sale in our data set. And I'm actually working from uh, this book here, Fundamentals of Mass Appraisal um, by the IAAO, and it is available to members in the IAAO um, on the library website. You can check it out for free. Sometimes there is a wait. Uh, you can also buy it from the IAAO marketplace on the website. Um, it gives a lot of uh, background and information on all sorts of um, areas of mass appraisal, but uh, specifically it does talk about the PRB for those of you who want to get a little bit more of a deeper understanding. Um, some of the calculations that we are doing in here, um, it explains them uh, in a little bit more detail and it sheds a little bit more light on them than we are uh, in this tutorial today. So the next step of this calculation, we're going to divide each assessed value by the median ratio. So we click in the top cell here, equal. Now we click the assessed value. We're going to divide by the median ratio. So there is a command in Excel. We simply type median. And then in the parentheses, we're just going to tell it we want the median value of all the ratios that are in column C. I'm going to close the parentheses, hit enter. Again, we just double click on this square at the bottom. And this creates this value uh, for each row in our data set. The next step, we're going to create this value that it's used to calculate the PRB. And the formula is 0.5 times the sale price plus 0.5 times the assessed value divided by the median. So this is how this looks in an Excel formula. We're going to type the equal sign, parentheses, and the first step is 0.5 times the sale price. So we're going to click on the sale price in column B. We're going to close those parentheses and add to 0.5 times 
the assessed value divided by the median, which is what we just calculated in column D. We're going to close those parentheses, hit enter, double click in the bottom of the cell, and this populates all of the values for column E. The PRB is actually calculated using a regression model. Um, and for any regression model, you have to specify your independent and your dependent variable. Uh, the independent variable that we are going to calculate here is going to be the natural logarithm of this value in column E divided by 0.693. So to complete this, we simply type equal ln for the natural logarithm. And the number that we want to um, convert to a natural log will be this value here in column E. And then we divide by 0.693. Double click to do this for each sale. And the dependent variable in our model is simply going to be the ratio minus the median ratio divided by the median ratio. That's how this looks. So the ratio, which is column C, subtract out the median ratio. So again, median, column C, divided by the median ratio column C. Press enter and double click. Now I'm using Excel on a Mac. If you are using Excel on a PC or perhaps a older or newer version, um, this might look slightly different, but it is still pretty much the same. Um, the next step is going to be to run a regression model. And you can do this using the data analysis um, add-in pack. We go to Tools, Data Analysis, and if you, don't, if you do not see Data Analysis under Tools, uh, you need to make sure that you, you find the correct Excel add-in here. Um, and this can be located using the uh, Help feature within Excel if you do not see it. In the Data Analysis, we are going to choose the Regression Analysis tool. I'm going to click OK. And now the regression tool pack asks us to specify the input Y range and the input X range. The input Y range is going to be our dependent variable. So we simply highlight this first value in column G of the dependent variable and we drag it down to the bottom value. And now we specify our input X range. Again, clicking on the top value, column F, row 2. And we're going to drag this all the way down to the bottom as well. Simply click OK. And we see that we have our regression summary output. And the actual value that we are looking for is here under coefficients, x variable 1. We see that we have a value of negative 0.11. And this is our PRB coefficient. And this tells us that as values double, so for example, going from a $50,000 property to a $100,000 property, ratios on average decrease by 11.24%, excuse me, 11.23%, uh, which is evidence of vertical inequity, specifically regressivity. And there are many more resources on the IAAO library website to uh, learn about vertical inequity and specifically uh, tests you can conduct and uh, what to do if you detect vertical inequity 
and how you can improve your valuations.